Hey everyone, I <clears throat> just wanted to talk a little about why I am the way I am. See, everybody likes to sit there and pretend like I can't think for myself. Like I don't, uh, I don't have my own thoughts and my own way of looking at things. But yet the second I do stand up and look for things, I'm some kind of monster, some Satanist, some kind of beat. And the Christian community is supposed to be the good ones. They're supposed to be the good ones. Y'all turned on me the second I freaking went against you. The, look, the separation of church and state is necessary. It, the, the country was built on Christian values. It was built on Christian beliefs. And yes, they are talking about the God in the Bible, but that they used God for that one particular purpose. So every other religion would be welcome. That's why the Founding Fathers did that. So while yes, it might have been the God from the Bible, that wasn't the intent of the country. The intent of the country was to welcome everyone and actually welcome everyone not put religious beliefs ahead of it so here you are celebrating a religious victory for pro-life but you forgot there are innocent people that are affected by your decision you got rid of one problem by creating another and that's something to be proud of Let's say, okay, let's say figuratively speaking, you're correct and this is all not protected by the Constitution, etc., etc. Does it make it morally right to go screw some... You gotta think. Some, some woman in Alabama right now probably could get raped and is now forced to live with that choice. With that, with that person raping them. They already have to go through enough shit as it is. You're going to sit there and force them to carry the rape child? You're going to force them? This is... The world is tearing itself apart. And it's all because things like church and state aren't being separated. Uh, ideologies ideologies are being pushed for Christ's sakes you got ideologies being pushed y'all are complaining about that but yet you want to push Christian values like it's any freaking different it's not no different you're brainwashing another generation into believing the way you want them to believe we have to be, we can't just go around forcing our beliefs on other people. I consider myself Christian. Hell, I'm glad Roe v. Wade's gone. But, I'm looking at it from a perspective that if I was a politician, what's the fair way and what Republicans did, that wasn't right. They literally are passing religious stuff and getting religious stuff out of courts. How long is this stuff, you know, are you going to only focus on religious stuff? Because if you're only going to focus on religious stuff, then that's not what I agreed to. I'm a conservative. I'm a conservative first. I love my country first, not your religion. That's how I know I love my country more than most of you do. Because I want to save my country. It's living. It's breathing. It, it's, it's its own entity. It's its own entity. It's became its own thing. It might have started on Christian values, but it developed into its own thing. And it's got to be its own thing. It's got to be separate. They can't be to, they can't be together. They can't be together. It's gotta be separate. 
because it's the only way the world's going to go forward. Christian values are very old, very archaic. A lot of society has moved forward. I'll give you a prime example. Cannabis. Cannabis is curing cancers. But because of the Christian community, cannabis falls under attack. That's from the Christian community. And this stuff is literally curing cancer. So I don't want to hear anything from the conservatives and stuff on that side. I'm, I'm sorry. I think for myself. And I know what the Christians are doing is not right. It's not right. You can't do that. We're not a dictatorship. We're not a theocracy. We're not a freaking... A billion different other things. We're America. Where everyone's welcome. Everyone has a chance to come here and do something and make something of themselves. Everyone has a right. Everyone... It's just, I love my country, guys. You gotta stop destroying it. This country is the greatest place in the world and has the ability to be so much more. Has the ability to be the beacon of light. What's morally right? What's, uh, you know, what's uh, fun? Was fundamentally right. Whatever way you want to look at it. What's right? It doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are. I threw away my personal religious beliefs. Because of the fact that. I also understand. Not everyone believes the way I do. So I have to look at what's fair and right within the country. Fair and right. Whether I agree or not. What's right? What's fair? That's what everyone should be doing. It's supposed to be content of character. It's supposed to be an individual and who the individual is. It's supposed to be considering everyone. The government's dividing us and we're being split. I love my country too much to watch it fall. That's why I can't stand with one side or another. I can stand with them on issues, but they're, both sides are brainwashed. You got the right side that's brainwashed by the Christians and the left side that's brainwashed by, well, you can just watch the news. It's ridiculous. Both sides are lost and both sides are pushing personal beliefs that are not right. Both sides are pushing personal beliefs that are not right. And I just... I can't take part of that, so I love my country too much. And if y'all want to sit there and think I can't think for myself or anything stuff like that, you can totally shove off because uh, I don't need you. I can think for myself. And right now, my thinking for myself is telling me I need to stand for what's right, no matter what. Thank you. Have a good day.